Hey, hey, fruit lovers. Today's a very special episode of How To, because I've kept it a total secret from Pear. <laughs> Shh, here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> All right, we ready to do this? We sure are, Pear. Go ahead and read the prompt. <laughs> you sure are giddy today. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what we've got today. Glacian Nation wants to know how to prank Pear. Wait, what? Hey, that's what the audience asked for, Pear. We gotta deliver. Dude, I'm not gonna just let you prank me. That's perfectly fine. I don't need you to let me. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You stay away from me. I'm gonna go over here and read my book and... <laughs> <laughs> Pranked ya! <laughs> Step one, if you want to prank Bear, do it at a time he'd never suspect. Ha! Joke's on you, Orange. I suspect it now, so you blew your opportunity to catch me by surprise. Or the joke is on you, and I already set up an elaborate Rube Goldberg device before the video even began and connected it to the very book you're opening right now. Huh? What? Why? Is that connected to TNT? Blowing up TNT is not a prank, Orange. It's a very serious... Oh. <laughs> prank ya! Har har. Well, good luck getting me again. I'm just gonna stand here and not do anything. You sure you wanna do that? Why wouldn't I be? Nah, no reason. <laughs> Fine, I'll move over ever so slightly to the side and... Ah! <laughs> Pranked. I have a feeling this video's really making a splash. <laughs> Ooh, that's it. You're not gonna prank me again because I'm on to you now. I'm gonna do the opposite of whatever it is you want me to do. Aw, don't be like that. Ha, see, I cracked the code. No, it's not that. It's just that I wanted to give you this bang and apology basket to thank you for being such a good sport. Oh, oh, well, I can do that one thing. I mean, I, I was a pretty good sport. Yeah, go on, check it out. It's got everything, cookies, stuffed animals, flowers. Chocolates, a fuse, an apology card. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second, Orange. Why is there a fuse in this apology basket? Hey, I told you it was banging. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo, it's A to the O, back again with a brand new crazy challenge video. Hold on to your butts, because things are about to get cheeky. <laughs> All right, let's go to the viewer suggestion to see what we're gonna do today. Hey, Orange, I challenge you to dump 10 million Skittles on Pear's head. Wow, you went right for the big guns right away. You could have suggested a thousand, a hundred thousand, or like a million, but no, you went right for 10 million Skittles. I like the way you think, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. We're about to rainbow on Pear's Parade. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Puns are mandatory. All right, here we see our victim. A pear-shaped green weirdo with a love of reading. Some would call him an intellectual, but I would call him perpetual. Perpetually boring, that is. <laughs> hey, you do realize I can hear you, right? Whoops. <laughs> Why are you filming me right now? I'm trying to read. Oh, it's time to get excited, Pear. Why? Because we have a brand new viewer request. Oh, no. That's usually not a good thing for me. What are you talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, hello. Anytime the audience suggests anything, I either get farted on, thrown off the counter, blown up, or transformed into something weird. So excuse me if I'm a little skittish about anything involving a prompt from the audience. Nah, don't be skittish. There'll be plenty of time for you to be skittish very soon. <laughs> like that, right there. What does that even mean? Don't worry, Pear. It's nothing like any of those things you mentioned. Yeah, right. <laughs> would I lie to you? Yes, you would. You lie to me on a daily basis. <laughs> Yo, what you talking about? Ha! Stick your head in the toilet, Pear. There's a treasure inside it, Pear. Okay, so maybe not the kind of treasure you were looking for. Press this button, Pear. It's definitely not gonna detonate TNT, Pear. Well, technically it didn't detonate the TNT. The button lit the candle that started the fuse. Quick, Pear, look at the internet because Zane finally joined back up with Fruit Direction. Okay, I can't argue there. I will never forgive you for that one. No, Pear, just listen. Seriously, all we're gonna do is gonna give you some Skittles. Skittles? You mean, like, the candy? Yeah, you know, taste the rainbow. I I do like Skittles. What's the catch? Well, the catch is you can try and catch them if you want. But honestly, I think there's going to be way too many to actually catch. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, how many Skittles are you going to be giving me? You mean dropping on you. What? Dropping on me? How many Skittles are you going to be dropping on me? Just a few. Define just a few. Um, 10 million. See ya. What? Release the Skittles! No! Woohoo! Making it rain! Ah! Whoa! Ah! It's raining ten! Whoa! Million Skittles, it's raining ten! Million Skittles! Ah! <laughs> 
There's so many! Ah! This is sweet! <laughs> well, color me impressed! <laughs> ah! You monster! Oh, come on, Pear! Don't sweet the small stuff! <laughs> Enough with the puns! It's bad enough that you buried me in Skittles! I don't need terrible puns on top of it! Well, Pear, I'm sorry. Thank you! Yeah, I'm sorry, but there's no such thing as a terrible pun! <laughs> ah, dude! Uh, who's gonna clean all this up? Not it! <laughs> what? Oh, are you serious? Oh, well, I guess I should just enjoy the quiet. Oh, um, Pear? And I spoke too soon. Yes, Orange? That was only the first five million Skittles. What? Zoinks! Ah! Greetings and happy Shocktober, fruit lovers. I'm Pear. And I'm a scary monster. Boo! Yeah, you're something, all right. Wouldn't call it scary, though. Okay, maybe that wasn't scary, but hold on to your butt, because it's about to get Harry Perry scary up in Harry. <laughs> what are you talking about? Today, the audience wants to know how to scare Pear. Oh, come on. Sorry, the audience asked for it. Pear is Pear, Pear. <laughs> uh, I guess so. All right, let's get this over with. Woohoo! I've got a fair share of rare Pear scares, so beware. <laughs> oh. The first way to scare Pear is with a hairy bear. <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, that, that's true. I feel like you said it only because it rhymed, but I'll give it to you. Hairy bears are scary to pear. Woohoo! Would you say that you find them very, very scary, Perry? <laughs> uh, yes, yes I would. But now then, the second way to scare pear. Uh, do, do we really have to do a whole list? Ahem, <laughs> excuse me. Now, the second way to scare pear is with the dairy chair nightmare. A what? That doesn't even make any. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Would you say that was dairy, dairy, scary, Perry? <laughs> yes, okay, yes, it was scary. Ah, uh, but is it as scary as the third way to scare Pear? The air, hair, double dare. Okay, you're just putting rhyming words together. But, 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 but are you scared of the air hairs? I'm actually not, and that's besides the point. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 the pop scared me a little. Or would you say it was airy, airy, scary, Perry? Orange. Stop rhyming things with my name! <laughs> okay, okay, no more rhymes, Pear, I swear. <laughs> ah! And the final way to scare Pear is to trap him in a prison cell. What, what the, um, okay, I guess this is kind of spooky. I'm just, I'm just relieved that trapping me in a prison cell doesn't rhyme with my name. Yeah, it's not like I ensnared Pear in a square lair under there. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that doesn't even make any sense, dude. Under there? Where's there? Under there! Underwear! <laughs> yeah, yeah, made you say underwear, Pear! Why? <laughs> Why? Would you say that was underwearly, wary, scary, Perry? No! No, I would not! Well, it looks like Perry is glaring at me. <laughs> Time to wrap up this scare pear affair with some fanfare in the air! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Those aren't fireworks, Orange! Oh, I'm aware, Pear. <laughs> hey, hey, Pear! Hey! Yeah, Orange? Hey, Pear! Hey! O Orange, I'm right here. Hey! What do you want? <laughs> I want to tell you about today's how-to topic. It's how to annoy Pear. <laughs> oh, great. Step one. Na, 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 na. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can, can we just get this over with? Ah, Pear, this will be fun. Step one for realsies, go off topic. Very true. This is the number one thing that annoys me about how-to episodes. Really? It annoys you even more than this sound? <laughs> uh, uh, yep, yes, yes. <laughs> more than this sound? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> y y yes, yes, it annoys me more than any sound. More than this sound? Aye! Holy moly, can we please just get back on topic? Of course, of course. Now, as I was saying, I can absolutely touch my tongue to my eyeball. Oh, gross. Okay, no one was arguing you couldn't, dude. Wait, wait a minute. That wasn't the topic at all. You changed the topic. <laughs> pear got pwned. <sighs> Step two for annoying Pear. Bring TNT into the equation. Correct. Blowing up the kitchen is always annoying. But we won't be doing that today. No siree. We're just talking about annoying Pear. We're not actually annoying Pear. Yeah, that's debatable. Step three for annoying Pear. Do this. And I said, hey, yay, 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 yay. Or stop. Hey, yay, 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 yay. Stop. I said, hey. Quit it. What's going on? Nice try, but I'm not annoyed. Well, of course not. I've only sung it once so 
so far. <laughs> Don't you even. And I said, hey! Yeah, 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 okay, okay, stop, stop. All right, all right, we've covered everything. These are all the ways to annoy me. Congrats, you did it. We can end the video now. Okay, Orange? W what, what do you say? Hmm, well, I say, hey, yay, 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 yay. <laughs> I'm just kidding around, buddy. Of course we can end the video. Thank you. Of course, you know what every how-to video ends with. Please, no. It's your choice, Pear. Either blast the TNT or listen to me sing What's Going On on repeat for the next two hours. And I said, hey, yay, oh, yay. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. That's fake TNT. <laughs> hey, what up, fruit lovers? A to the O here with the whole gang. Say hey, everybody. Yo, hey, yo, yo. Today, we're doing a never before seen challenge the Scare Pear Challenge. <laughs> cool. Sounds like a bundle of fun. It's a bundle of fun for sure. <laughs> Here's how it works. Pear's gonna sit his little hiney here, and one by one, me and the gang are gonna take cracks at making him scream the loudest. We all excited to do this? Yeah! No. Then it's unanimous. Here's the Scare Pear Challenge coming at ya. <laughs> uh. Hi, Pear. Hey, Marshy. I don't wanna scare you. I wanna hug you. Is that okay? Sure. I mean, you could try. It's kind of hard to hug someone when you don't have any... Tentacles! Ah! <laughs> Did I scare you? Yeah, kind of. How did you... Thanks, baby octopus! All those ones for a friend! <laughs> Marshy, you've got some weird friends. Cute, but weird. The scare o meter gave Bear Scream 75 decibels. Marshy takes the lead! You're something, all right. Aw, oh, man, are you really not scared? Sorry, little apple, not scared at all. Nah, and to think I went to all the trouble of studying up on ghosts at the library before it burned down. Huh? The library burned down? No! <laughs> gotcha, Pear! The library didn't burn down? Oh, thank goodness. That's 76 decibels. Congrats, Little Apple. You've moved into the lead by the smallest of margins. <laughs> Excuse me, could somebody tell me what I'm doing here again? You're trying to scare me, Grapple Lemon. Oh, I see. Well, I've got a little trick up my sleeve. Here, hold these. Ew! Okay, I'll be back. Where is he going? Hello? Grandpa Lemon? Anybody? What the heck is going on? Where is everybody? Right here! Ha 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 How did you do that? A magician never reveals his... Oh, good grief. The scare meter gave it an 85. Congrats to Grandpa Lemon, our new front runner. Thank you kindly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't stand a chance, bro. I brought the scariest thing of all time, a tarantula. I'm not scared of tarantulas. You, you not? Even though they're huge and hairy and could eat you? Nope. But it seems like you are. Nah, -uh, I'm, I'm not scared of anything. Then open the cage. Maybe I will. Cool, so do it. I'm gonna. When? Soon. How about now? Don't rush me! <laughs> Yo, what's with that guy? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Oogie boogie, oogie boogie boogie boogie, oogie boogie. Not scary. Try a different mask then. Yeah, I don't think it's the mask. I think it's the fact that you're not doing anything surprising. <laughs> oh, oh, <orange! laughs> I so got you. What the? I put a mask on an orange ball. See? 
Oh, I'll admit, that was a good one. Thanks for the help, knife. You're welcome. See you tomorrow when I try to kill you for reals. Bye! Okay. And the screamo meter agrees. That was 97 decibels, which means I win the grand prize. Well, I didn't know there was a grand prize. Yeah, what's the grand prize? This megaphone! No! Megaphone!